Welcome to the QShow QLab Tutorials. Today we're going to introduce you to QLab 4's lighting abilities and give you a very basic idea of how to set this up and get started with lighting with QLab. I would encourage you to go to Figure 53's website which has a ton of information on how to get this stuff up and running as well. Some of it can be a little overwhelming to new people that haven't really used this equipment before and to understand the basics of lighting if you haven't stepped into that C yet. Uh, so basically you're going to need to get started you're going to need QLab 4 which you can download from figure53.com and you're also going to need a ArtNet gateway uh, or in this case I'm going to use an open DMX Ethernet ODE device available at ntech.com. Uh, this is a super stable reliable piece of hardware that I, I love. It has never let me down and it connects to your computer through a Cat5 cable. So get one of these guys right here and you plug it in to your computer through Ethernet if you need to, you may need a USB to Ethernet adapter available at, from Apple that will allow you to add an Ethernet port if your computer doesn't come with one. Once you have that up and running and ready to go, you can go ahead and open QLab and open up a new workspace. And here you're going to want to set up and tell it that you're going to be running lighting. Under the preferences section here, you're going to want to set up just let it know that you're using ArtNet and you're ready to use that. So ArtNet Lighting Network Interface, you just pick Automatic, which is fine. We're actually using this Ethernet port here. And you do want to make sure you have checked Use Broadcast Mode for ArtNet Lighting uh, so it can talk to the ODE device. And uh, once you've done that, you should see uh, that you're getting all four lights on the ODE should light up. Here I'm using a DP415 Elation Dimmer set to DMX address of 1 so that the channel 1 here will be DMX channel 1, channel 2 will be 2, 3 will be 3, and 4 will be 4. So the first thing we need to do is once we have QLab open and have it set up to talk to our lighting interface we're just going to make a new instrument and in this case we really just want uh, to add four for the four channels on the dimmer. Uh, each one of these they auto address to one two three four which is correct in this case because the dimmer has those four channels set up and we set the DMX dip switches to uh, one so it goes in order one two three four for those channels. You can rename these to anything you want by just double clicking on them. We'll just call it uh, Elation dimmer channel 1 and we'll just keep that going down the line here and these do sort by name initially you can reorder them later as needed so basically that's all you need to do right now to get those four guys working and those will show up uh, in our lighting options when we go to to look at that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and just save this workspace just so we can uh, have it in case it crashes or we lose or do something stupid so I'm gonna add a lighting cue in QLab now just go ahead and pick lighting under this new little icon we have here and you're gonna wanna when you look at this lighting cue here, you're going to want to look at the levels thing, levels tab, and you can then go ahead and open the lighting dashboard. And this is where you're going to create most of your looks and things from within the lighting dashboard. Um, you can also open the lighting patch from here, which we already have open, and to add more and different different lights. But for the lighting dashboard, basically, we have all the lights that we've put into our patch are listed here and you can see the ones that we've added right now uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on these four channels and turn them to full and then when I hit new new queue with changes uh, it'll create a new queue that it'll, it'll create a new queue in my lighting setup here so you can see that 
I look at the one that I just made, we have these four channels are all up to full. And if we were to fire that, um, we would look and see that all four of those dimmer channels are up to full and engaged in that, in that dimmer right now. Now, if we wanted to have them be off, make a new cue, we could either copy and paste this one. So copy, paste, and we would just turn down the ones we don't want in here. So in this case, we really only have channel one up. So if we just put channel one and we can copy and paste that, and this one will just have be channel two. And we would turn up channel two and turn down, down channel one. And we'll repeat that two more times uh, just, just to have all three of the dimmer channels doing something. And again, I'm just adjusting the levels, uh, intensity levels of those separate lighting cues. And we'd also could make one with them all off. So if we just make this here, and we'll just say dimmer off. And we make sure we just set all three of the, all four of them to zero. And let's put that at the very beginning. Let's say that we, we we're going to fire the off cue, but uh, they're actually already off, as you can see here. So if I go ahead and fire the next cue, you can see that all the four turn on. And now we're going to do channel one. Just one is on, two, three, and four. So now we're going to set up a more complex lighting instrument. We're going to set up the Slimpar Pro H made by Chauvet here and get him up and running. First of all, you want to make sure it's plugged in and you want to just check what your DMX address is. We have ours set at D, uh, DMX 485 for the very first channel. And we're going to go ahead and use the manual here, which lists the D channel mode that you're in. In this case, I'm going to do the 12 channels. And we have all the 12 channels listed here. One is dimmer, two is red, three is green, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down to the 12th one here. So we have to enter those into QLab so it knows what to do with this instrument. To do that, we're gonna to go to definitions and we're gonna make a new definition by hitting a plus sign here. And we're gonna name the instrument Slimpar. Pro H. And then we're just going to add, we can put the manufacturing if you want. I don't know if that's required or anything, but, and just start hitting the plus sign. We're going to add 12 channels because we're setting it up a 12 channel instrument. And we could resize this so you can kind of see a little bit more what's going on. And then we want to name each one of these to exactly what's in that manual. All right, so we know channel one is the dimmer, two is red, three is green, blue, amber, white, UV, strobe, color macros. Basically, you're copying whatever's listed in the manual that you have of the different things that you're going to, of the uh, different lighting instruments that you're going to use. And then finally, we're going to add in dimmer speed. And we hit save to library. And now we're going to, and now you go back to your patch tab and you're going to hit new instrument. And in this case, now we're going to add in the Slimpar Pro H right here. And you can name it whatever you like. We need to change the starting address though here. 
to what we have on our light, which I have set at 485. And that will auto number them down the sequence. We're going to name this properly. And we'll call this Slimpar Pro H. So you might have multiple instruments like this in different locations and stuff. So you can name them however you wish. Okay, so now we want to build a light queue using the Slimpar Pro H. And you can see if you hit the little triangle, you can come down and see all its different settings uh, and different things you'll be controlling when you do this. So let's go back now that we have that in our, in our patch and we're ready to go. We're going to go back uh, to our light dashboard and we can make a lighting queue that has includes that light in it. I'm going to first turn down the other light because I don't want the dimmer channel 4 to be up and I'm going to open up the Slimpar Pro H and you can move this over a little bit so you can kind of see what you're working with and from here you can kind of decide what you're, what you're going to be doing. In this case we're going to turn up the the dimmer here and we can go ahead and pick what we want it to what we want to be up with the green up blue and we'll do green let's do uh, a little green and some red and we'll hit new queue uh, with all. So now if we look at this one here, we have all the other dimmers down, we have blue, and we have the dimmer up at full, and we also have red at full as well. You can reorder these if you want to, uh, once they're in here, if you prefer to have them in a different order. I like to keep my colors together so that I can kind of keep track of red, green, blue, and that type of thing, uh, which is kind of the default. I don't know why it automatically sorts them alphabetically, uh, which is which is fine, I guess. It depends on, I'm just used to things a certain way. And I'll get my UV look up here, get him in the mix, and the white, the white guy. So now if we fire this cue here, we should be getting a nice purple color from our light. And as you can see by looking at the video, we in fact uh, have some beautiful purple up there. And if we want to change this to a different thing, QLab 4 does a thing where it remembers what happens before it. So anything previous, it carries that along into the next queue. So you want to be careful and make sure that you turn down stuff or include stuff you don't want in the next queue so that it doesn't keep that along with you. Um, we'll cover that in more detail at another time. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and make a, uh, another queue here. I'm just going to take this queue and copy and paste it. And I'm just going to turn down the red. And I'm going to turn down the blue. And I'll turn up the amber here. And when I fire this queue, then, we should have a nice, beautiful amber color. And again, I've done a five... Uh, by default, it does a five second fade, and you can see it going ahead and doing that. Uh, so there you go. That should get you started with lighting in QLab. It's pretty exciting.